Now, um, Pete, I'm excited to have you on today because um, I saw the other day your company, Disruptor Capital, launched what I thought was a brilliantly conceived political action committee. Can you share with our audience how this works? Absolutely, John. And, and for clarification, it's my company did not uh, launch it. I launched it. Uh, it's called Disruptor Fund. And really the premise of it is, is you know, I, I live by the old adage, if you're not growing, you're dying. And in every business I've been a part of, uh, we've always looked at the books every single week, every single month, and said, okay, if we're not growing, we're dying out there. And the same thing is true for you know, political causes and tech for radio shows and, and for uh, campaigns mm-hmm. and political parties. And over the past couple of years, uh, the Republican Party has is, is, uh, stalled out a little bit. We're not adding numbers to the rank the way we used to. And what we want to do is, is inject a little seed capital, if you will, into our local units to really work with the grassroots in Virginia, make sure the people that are out there in the precincts and our local unit chairmen uh, in the counties and localities across Virginia have what they need to grow the party. You know, every single uh, November, John, for the past couple of years, we're scratching our head because our math doesn't add up. For right. some reason, our math doesn't add up on Election Day. And there's one way to fix that. Bring out more, more numbers. Grow our party. So we have uh, Disruptor Fund's Grow Our Party initiative. And, and we're putting a challenge out there, John. We're putting a challenge out to every single unit uh, across the Commonwealth that if they can grow by 50%, we're going to be we're going to be offering a bounty. We're going to be offering a four figure contribution, anywhere from about a thousand dollars up to twenty five hundred plus, depending on the size and the scope of the of the and the numbers of the unit, uh, for them to grow by fifty percent. So that's it, John. We're we're looking to make sure that we have an active and strong grassroots in Virginia. So it's an entrepreneurial, incentive based capitalism free market pack whereby in order to get the donation you have to perform and the performance is based on growing grassroots numbers which is basically the job of the or the responsibility if you will of the unit chair so let me get this straight so let's say uh let's go to my hometown of chesapeake and my republican chairman is pete berkheimer great guy And so I don't know how many members uh, there are in the Republican Party of Chesapeake. Let's say it's 500. I have no idea. It could be, you know, over that. Let's say there's 500. So if he were to grow that to 750, then the Republican Party of Chesapeake would be in line for a $1,000 to $2,500 donation from the Pete Snyder uh, Disruptor Political Action Committee, right? That's exactly it, John. In fact, I was on the phone yesterday with your great chairman, Chairman Berkheimer, and uh, Pete's going to be looking through our program, and and hopefully in the coming weeks we're going to be able to have Chesapeake on board. And It's not only about increasing the numbers, John. It's not only about growing Chesapeake and Fairfax and Botetot and and, and units all across the Commonwealth, but it's also we're providing technology as well. You know my background as a technology entrepreneur. I'm fortunate that I get to work with some of the best minds uh, in technology, and we are offering free of charge to every single unit chairman and every single unit across Virginia. Um, technology consulting advice, if they don't like their website, we can help them refresh it or redesign it. We're going to do that for them. If they need help with social media as far as training and or uh, a redesign of their Facebook page, we can handle that for them free of charge. Uh, and it goes all the way up to it's something as sophisticated as a micro-targeted digital advertising campaign to increase their numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can use our, our stipend, uh, our seed capital investments from Disruptor Fund, uh, to do just that. So, it's uh, you know, the saying goes, uh, lawyers, guns, and money, we're providing some backbone technology and dollars to our units out there, Johnny. I tell you what, it's... Brilliant, and I'll tell you why, because when you look at most of the PACs out there, they're going to donate to candidates. And so you find a candidate of your choice, you're conservative, Republican, or liberal, Democrat, whatever you choose, and you donate to the candidate. And maybe they win, maybe they don't. And uh, certainly those donations are going to play 
a part in victory or defeat. Uh, but after it's over, it's over. What you've done is created uh, a financial means to grow the party in a perpetual situation. So it perpetuates. It's not, you know, it's not on, on November 6th or 5th, win or lose, it's over. It continues uh, because you planted a seed, basically. Brilliant. Well, John, that's, that's exactly it. Taking the same values that I apply every single day in being a venture capitalist uh, and an entrepreneur and applying that to our party. Uh, you and I have been, been in the ranks for a long time. We've been working in the grassroots. And, uh, you know, after uh, last year's campaign, I scratched my head and said, OK, wait a minute. We lost the governor's race by a mere two and a half percent. Uh, we lost the attorney general's race by only a couple hundred votes. How do we get our math? How do we increase our numbers so that we don't have this being a problem in the future? And you know, as you as you mentioned before, we have a million and one packs out there, dollars chasing candidates, candidates chasing dollars. Uh, it's a it's a virtuous cycle. Uh, I want to get to the root of the problem. Uh, and and really the root of the opportunity, which is our grassroots in Virginia. We have a very strong, vibrant grassroots. How do we grow those numbers? What can we do to incentivize our local units and make sure that they're bringing people out? You know, John, you you and I complain a lot, and if you go and move in conservative circles, there's a lot to be depressed about. You know, the first time in Virginia in over 40 years we don't have a, an elected statewide Republican official. Uh, our economy is sputtering. Um, you know, we're, uh, our foreign policy is a joke around the globe. Uh, Obamacare has been an abomination on the economy. There are a million and one reasons to feel depressed out there. Uh, that said, I tend to be a glass half full kind of guy, and I look at this miserable environment and say, oh my gosh, this has to be the greatest recruiting environment for our cause and our party. That I've seen in a generation. We got to be out there beating the bushes, bringing people into our movement, mm -hmm. into our party, and doing it on a very local level. We do that, we win next time, John.